Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be doing how to make premium and benefits into your game. So, I'll be showing you guys how to add sparkles to your character, make them jump higher, and give them more walk speed. So, if your character had, or if someone playing your game has premium, they will get these things. And premium benefits are important because in Roblox, if premium players play your game, um, you can actually earn small amounts of Robux for, like I think, like every minute they play, you earn a very small amount of Robux. And, yeah, so this could help you earn Robux and premium benefits. It will help your players want to play in your game more. I have premium, so I have all the benefits here, you see. And, yeah, I'll be sure you guys how to make it. Join the Discord, join the group, and subscribe, because in 100 subscribers, I'll be giving away. A thousand robux and you need to be in the group to do that follow me on twitter and yeah let's get into the video hey guys sorry to interrupt the video but i just wanted to let you know that our group has released some f official uh merch and i really appreciate it if you check some checked it out i spent a lot of time on all of these except for this one because i found the design online but all the rest of these i had to make myself i spent a lot of time on them and i will be releasing a lot every or some every weekend. I'm wearing the Galaxy one right now, but um, yeah, be sure to check it out and back to the video. All right, let's get script. <coughs> let's let's get scripting. The first thing you're going to do is add a script in the server script service, and you can just go ahead and rename this to Premium. Doesn't matter if you rename it or not, or what you rename it to, but I'm just going to rename it Premium to stay organized. So, the first thing we're going to do is create our variable. So, local players equals it's, uh, equals game colon get service and then players. Alright, and then now we're going to create a function. We're going to do players dot player added player added colon connect oops connect a uh, function. Uh, and then the function would be player without an S this time. Alright, and then we're going to do uh, if player dot membership type member. Okay, I'm so bad at spe spelling right now. Member. Okay, seriously. Member uh, ship type. Equals enum. Oh, it's not even. Okay. Can I please spell properly? I mean, M B E R S H I P T Y P E. All right. Equals enum dot membership type. Oops. Um. Enum dot membership type dot premium. Premium. Then we're just going to go ahead and print. Yes. Um. Oh no. We're just going to print. Yes. There you go. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, okay. So I was supposed to do equal equals there. There we go. And now if I do it, I have to put two equals instead of one. That's not why it's not work that's why it wasn't working. Alright, so let's just see it down here. It should print yes. Yeah, there you go. So it's checked and it says yes, you are premium. So so far so good. Alright, so now uh, we'll go ahead and delete the print. Alright, and let's do. Let's make another variable. So, local player. And uh, no, local char. Oh no. No, we're not even making a variable. What am I doing? Alright, player dot character added. Character added. Colon connect. And then function, and then the function will be humanoid. Oh no, char. Not chat, char. It doesn't matter what you call the function, but I'm calling it char because it stands for character, and that makes it neat. Um, all right. So then we're going to do local humanoid equals. So now we're creating a variable. Local humanoid. Equals char colon find first child and then 
humanoid. Alright, um, humanoid. Alright, there we go. We'll go humanoid, let's go dark, kind of fish out with humanoid. That should be what, alright, so then if humanoid, so we're checking, if it has a humanoid, then we're going to do humanoid. Let's, let's give it a few things. So, the first thing we're going to give it is walk speed, then jump, we're going to give it walk speed, or speed boost, jump boost, uh, let's give it health, and maybe some sparkles. Also, to say, look, they're, oh, look at that person, they're premium, and that makes them cool. Alright, so if humanoid, then humanoid dot walk speed equals, um, so, the, the normal is 16, so I'm just going to set to 30, actually 32, two times as much, alright, so then humanoid dot jump power, now the normal jump power is 50, so I'll set it to, um, 100, because it's also times 2, alright, so then humanoid dot, if you're going to set the health, you need to set the max health first, so humanoid that max health equals to uh, the normal max health is obviously 100. So I'll set the health to 150. And um, humanoid dot um, health equals to uh, 150. All right. So now let's <coughs> create our sparkles. So the first thing you're going to do is go into the workspace here, and you can go. And go ahead and insert a sparkle. Right here are our sparkles, as you can see. All right, they're purple right now. Move them somewhere else, please. All right. So okay, I can't move these right now. All right, I'm just going to delete them. I'm going to insert a part, and I'm just going to rename this part to S. H for sparkle holder, and then I'll set it to anchored. Move it down here, and then inside of this part, I'll add the sparkles. Uh, where are the sparkles? Oh, I have. I need to search it. Okay, right, here you go. So the sparkles are in the sparkle holder, but I you can go ahead and change the colors to whatever you want. Change everything about it. Make it your own unique sparkles. There you go, that's my color. And I'll set the. Uh, is there anything else I can do here? I thought there was more. Oh, I can enable them, disable them. I was looking for something else, but maybe it's just not there. I don't know. Alright. Yeah, okay, that's just it then. Alright, so now you can go back to your script here. And you'll say local uh, sparkles equals game dot sh or whatever you named the part. Oh no, game dot workspace dot sh um, dot sparkles. Oops, dot sparkles. All right, and then we'll uh, so now we're going to do local. Clone equals all right. So local clone equals sparkles. Uh, sparkles colon clone, and then we'll just do dot parent equals to um. Let's do char colon find find first child and we'll find the humanoid. Uh, root part. Alright, there you go. So now if we. Wait, it says something was wrong in there. Let's see. I'm back to the script here. What do you mean? Oh, okay, that's why. Alright, what you're going to do is just get. We'll just do. Sparkles. And then colon clone. Alright, here. Alright. And then, here we go, that's better. This should work. What? Oh, we forgot this. Our goal is colon clone dot parent. So that should work now. 
And if we go here to the game, you can see I have sparkles because I'm premium and I have jump boost and walk speed. And if I were to go to my humanoid, oh, this, okay. If I were to go to my humanoid here and say my health, and right, my health is 150 and my max health is 150. And if I die, it should also stay that way. Let's see. I hope it stays that way. Yeah, now respawn. And yep, it's still the same. So if you guys enjoyed and uh, you want to support me, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Join the group because at 100 subscribers, we'll be giving away a thousand Robux. Follow me on Twitter for uh, game updates and tutorial updates. And join the Discord. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.